A thousand years ago, the planet inferred developed in technology and civilization, but one day it suffered a huge disaster due to the sudden appearance of a black hole. Mysterious particles ejected by the black hole filled the planet. The black particles caused the animals and plants on Planter Infendo to go crazy and mutate. A martial arts expert appeared to save the people in despair. From then on, Planet Inferno entered a martial arts era where strength was always in. Back to the present, someone is speaking to someone loudly, Xia Ping. You're sleeping in history class. In five months, it will be time for the big exam, which is a key moment in deciding your future. Wake up and get motivated. Xia Ping. Stand up and tell us about your future plans. Xia Ping wakes up from dreams but is very confused, where am I? My future. I remember now, this is Planet Inferno, and the teacher says, I knew it. Most of you are just as confused as Xia Ping. Whether to work or go to college is some thing you have to consider now. Later, we will do a survey to write down your plans for the future. No lying, got it? A student says, Teacher, with my martial arts level at the third stage, is it hard for me to get into college? In response, the teacher says, IT's impossible to get into a top-tier university, but you can try for a third-tier university. Of course, it's possible for you to start working immediately and earn money to support your family. Hearing the name of the family, Xia Ping starts to remember something. In my memory, I was just an order student on the Yenhuang Star, no different from anyone else. But three days ago, I was struck by a purple lightning bolt. I blacked out. When I regained consciousness, I was shocked to find that I had a strange yet family memory in my mind. In this memory, I seemed to be a person from Huaxia on Earth, experienced life from birth, school, education, love, work, marriage, having children, and finally dying in a car accident after more than 30. The second student asks the teacher, Teacher, are there any other options besides exams? Because there is a shortage of workers in social now, you can choose to work in a company. In his response, the teacher says, During work, you can earn a lot of money, buy all kinds of monster meat, take various spiritual medicines, and gradually improve your martial arts. Maybe you can become a real warrior in the future, earning a monthly income of over 10,000 without work. After listening to the teacher, Xia thinks, almost every student on the planet of Inferno has an obligation to practice, and it has even become part of the exam content. If you are not strong enough, you cannot even go to college, let alone survive. This is unimaginable in my world. Whether I am Xia Ping from Earth or Xia Ping from Yenhuang Star, I am still me, unique in the world. No matter which world I live in, I will live an exciting life. But suddenly, Xia Ping hears some voice, and the system accesses a countdown. But Xia Ping does not understand where this voice came from. Then a system notification in front of him becomes pop up, soul fusion complete, super hatred system bound to host. This system is designed to attract hate. As long as the host can get hatred points, they can exchange for pills, treasures, and even peerless martial arts in the system's shop. Xia Ping is very confused. Super hatred system? What's that? What is hatred points? And a screen opens in front of Xia Ping. Hatred points. It is a negative emotion of living beings. As long as they can provide negative emotions in other living beings, they can gain hatred. Hatred level is divided into ridicule, dislike, disgust and other levels. After seeing this system, Xia thinks, it even feels tangible to touch. Is it true? It means that the screen wants me to be hated by everyone? The teacher and other classmates don't see to have seen my previous action. Okay, let's try if the super hatred system is real. And now Xia Ping says to the teacher, Teacher, I have planned my future. When the teacher says to tell, Xia Ping says, I want to apply to the best Yenhuang University. And become the strongest warrior. 
After listening to this, all the students and teachers are surprised and the teacher says that you are serious? And Xiaoping gets hatred points. And Xiaoping feels something, this burning sensation. I feel like there are countless pairs of hateful eyes staring at me. These eyes are filled with burning anger and hate. They have all been transformed into energy and entered my body. These classmates who seem harmless on weekdays, there are demons in their hearts. This is the evil in human nature. Being invaded by this kind of evil. Unexpectedly feel an indescribable pleasure. And now all the students together start to make fun of Xiaoping, what is Xiaoping talking about? Maybe he's half asleep. With your cultivation at the third level of heaven realm, it's difficult enough to get into a third-rate university. Indeed, even salted fish have dreams. In response to him, Xiaoping says, Yang Wei, just because you can't do it doesn't mean others can't. But some men are born useless, and there is no cure for them. After hearing this, the student gets very angry. And Xia Ping gets hatred points from her side and Xia thinks, yes, that look. Let the hate come even more fiercely. This boy is very angry. And his friend is also making fun of him and Xia Ping says, Gao Wan, why are you logging? Do you have the right to mock someone else's name? After listening to Xia Ping, this boy also gets very angry, and the boy says, what do you want to say? So Xia Ping says have you not heard me? What's wrong? Have feathers clogged your ears? And now both of them start quarreling and seeing this the teacher gets very angry and she says, Xia Ping, what's going on you? Gao Wan is just someone with a similar name, you can't just assume things. And someone else's name is Yang Wei, you can't say they're not good in some aspect. After listening to the teacher, this boy comes to cry, and so he leaves the class. The teacher feels very bad and she starts scolding Xia Ping, and removes her out of class. Xia Ping thinks after coming out of class, this super hatred system is quite interesting, I should study it more. It's class time now, no one should be on the roof. Xia Ping now comes to the roof of the school, system, come out now. Didn't you say I could get hatred points? How many points did I just get? So the system tells, host, you have gained 120 hatred points this time. Congratulations, as the system is activated for the first time, the host got a gift pack. Xia Ping gets a gift pack that Xia Ping becomes happy after hearing this. And he wants to know what he has found in the gift? Now the system comes in front of Xia Ping, will you accept the system's gift package? Xia Ping gets shocked after seeing the system, the virtual image of the system. The system says to Xia Ping, please don't panic, host. My image is generated according to your preferences. It doesn't matter, please decide whether you will accept the gift package or not. Xia Ping thinks, since it's a gift package, it shouldn't contain anything negative. I'll accept. And the system says, Congratulations to the host for obtaining a system gift package and a secret martial art technique, a copy of the pure yang indestructible technique and suddenly Xia Ping starts feeling pain, and he starts screaming and the system gift describes. The pure yang indestructible body technique operates in harmony with the movement of heaven and earth, allowing the cultivator to embody the universe and consume the essence of the sun in the sky. Through the process of refining and melting the body, Burning away the physical shell, one forges an eternal and indestructible form. Xia Ping says, This pure young indestructible body technique is something that ordinary people would never have the chance to encounter in their entire lifetime. And they will be burnt into ashes, not even a trace of residue will be left. This cultivation method begins by devouring the essence of the sun to strengthen oneself. It's no exaggeration to say that it's a top-tier cultivation method. This is an opportunity. So whether it's true or not, I just have to try it out and see for myself. And now Xia Ping starts absorbing that power inside itself, and a bright light comes out from its mouth which hits the wall and there is a huge explosion. And Xia Ping has fallen on the roof, then Xia Ping says, 
incredible, my body feels so much lighter now. This cultivation method actually helped me break through one of my meridians. And when Xia Ping looks at the wall, there is a big hole on the top of the wall. And after seeing this, Xia Ping becomes happy, as expected of a top tier cultivation method, it's so awesome. Thanks to my first cultivation, I was able to advance to the strength of a fourth level martial artist of Heaven Realm. And the system says, Who broke the wall on the top floor? I'll write you up and deduct points if I find out. After hearing this, Xia Ping thinks, Oh no, it's the head instructor's patrol beetle. This is bad. And now Xia Ping runs away from that place. After some time, Yang Wei comes to the dining hall looking for Xia Ping, and Xia Ping says, It's you, Yang Wei. What a coincidence, you're here to eat in the dining hall too. In response, Yang Wei says, What coincidence? I came here specifically to see you. Hearing this, Xia Ping says, Specifically to find me? Are you here specifically to make amends to me? Don't be so polite, I didn't take that matter to heart. But Yang Wei is very angry, who's here to make amends, I'm here specifically to settle scores with you. How dare you mock me and make me look bad in front of the whole class? Think this is just going to go away? Yang Wei is accompanied by another student, and he says, no need to talk so much crap to him. My cultivation level may not be impressive, but I do have some guts. How dare he give my brother a nickname like that? I must demand an explanation for this. I won't bully you either. How about you and I have a fight at the Flying Dragon platform? You better go or else you'll regret it. All the students are watching this whole thing from a distance and they say. Flying Dragon Platform? The Flying Dragon Platform is a place where the school allows students with conflicts to openly fight and release their anger. Once you step onto the platform, it's like signing a life and death contract, and no one is responsible for whatever happens. The Flying Dragon Platform is practically a lawless place. Going to the Flying Dragon Platform with Xiong Badian is basically asking for death. And another student asks, Is this Xiong Badian that powerful? So the boy tells, You don't even know who Xiong Badian is? Xiong Badian is two meters tall and has an innate godly strength which earned him the nickname Black Bear Spirit, his punch has the force of over a thousand kilograms, making him a martial artist at the fifth level of Heaven Realm. Once at the Flying Dragon platform, Xiong Badian fought against five people alone. As a result, those five people were seriously injured and unable to take care of themselves for a month. If he starts to go all out, no one can match him. Don't eat anymore. Let's go. Xiong Badian is going to beat him up here soon. And all the students, out of fear, run away from the dinner hall. And Xiong Badian Xiaoping says what? Are you scared? It's too late. But in response Xiaoping says, scared? Do you really? Think I'm scared of a big brute like you? Hearing this, Xiong Badian gets very angry, big brute? Say it again if you dare. And Xiaoping gets a lot of heartbreak points from Xiong Badian and Xiong Baishan's friend tells Xiong Badian to calm down. But another student says, if brother Xiong loses his temper here, we'll all be in trouble. And now Xia Ping says, okay, I agree to your challenge, stop nagging already. Hearing this Xiong Batian says then I'll see you at the Flying Dragon platform after school. If you don't show up, you're dead. Xia Ping smiles and replies. Great. It's settled then. After this, Xia Ping comes to the roof of the school. System, before you said that hatred value can be exchanged for items, how exactly can this be exchanged? So the system says host, as long as there is enough hatred value, items in the shop are available for purchase. Xia Ping thinks I already possess the pure young indestructible body martial art technique, so I might as well check if there are any suitable martial arts available. When Xia Ping clicks, some notifications appear in front of Immortal Execution Sword Skill, Ranking Divine Level.
Priced at 9 billion hatred value, 8 desolate 6 harmonious palms, ranking divine level, priced at 8 billion hatred value. Void shifting step. Ranking divine level, priced at 7.5 billion hatred value, Xia Ping gets a little upset I have so little hatred value, how long will it take before I can afford to buy a martial art technique that is worth 10 billion hatred value? But the system says by then anything can be bought. Hearing this, Xia Ping says more than a hundred hatred values will attract Yang Wei's revenge. If there were to be 10 billion hatred value, won't I just become the public enemy? And the system tells Xia Ping it doesn't matter, host, the shop also has inexpensive items. Please take a look. Xia Ping says huh? Do these five shapes first actually require 100 hatred values? Isn't this the most basic fist technique, a mandatory course for learning in school? But the system says a master who has been practicing for many years. After listening to the system, now Xia Ping buys that skill and as soon as the purchase is successful, a pressure is generated on Xia Ping, and some techniques are shown to it. First white crane. Second monkeys. Third viper. Fourth tiger. And now five shapes fist. It's done. I really mastered the essence of the five elements fist in a flash. This technique is already in harmony with me. Some time later, as Xia Ping is coming down the stairs, he hears a voice that looks familiar. And a girl says to Xia Ping, I heard that you are planning to duel with Xiong Batian on the Flying Dragon platform. Her name is Jiang Yazhu, the class president and class flower of the third year class number 16. We have been neighbors since childhood and can be considered as childhood friends. Behind her is Liang Xiaoxue, the class's wealthy and beautiful girl, who always has an air of superiority around her. Xia Ping gives reply to Jiang Yazhu and says that's right. Hearing this, Jiang Yazhu says the opponent is Xiong Badian, how can you be so impulsive and agree to fight him? But Xia Ping smiles and replies you don't understand it, but you'll know soon enough. But Jiang Yazhu gets angry how can I not understand? You're only a martial apprentice with a cultivation level at the third stage of Heaven Realm, if you go up to the Flying Dragon platform, you'll be seriously injured even if you don't die. But Jiang Yazhu's friend says Yazhu, you're his neighbor, not his girlfriend, why do you care if he lives or dies, wait until he hits the wall, then he'll know he's wrong. And Xia Ping says this matter you don't need to care, I naturally have a sense of proportion. After listening to Xia Ping, Jiang Yazhu says that idiot. Leave him alone. After this, when Xia Ping comes inside his classroom, the students say about Xia Ping, Xia Ping, I heard that you plan to duel with Xiong Badian? Do you have a chance to win? He is aiming to be the top student at Yenhuang University, so his martial arts cultivation is likely much stronger than everyone. What's the likes of Xiong Badian? I'm afraid he could knock him down with just one hand. Okay, everybody, don't laugh at Xia Ping. After all, he still dares to challenge Xiong Batian, this courage alone is worthy of respect. After listening to those students, Xia Ping tells them it's none of your business if I can get into Yenhuang University or beat Xiong Batian. You guys mind your own business. This student gets very angry after listening to Xia Ping but while calming himself he says to Xia Ping since you are so confident, do you dare to bet with us? Xia Ping also listens to her words. And the student goes on to say that's right, if you lose, you'll have to run naked three times around the school. If we lose, we'll run naked too. Do you have the guts to be with us? Responding to that student, Xia Ping says it's not a problem to bet with you guys, I'm just afraid that you'll be misunderstood as perverts. Hearing this, he gets even more angry. Where do you get the confidence that you can win? His friend says since there is no problem, let's sign the contract now, so that no one can back out. This is the relevant legal contract. Take out your student chip and let's make a contract. And all three agree to this contract. And all three together make a contract and both of them say good, the contract has been established. 
If you breach the contract, you will be punished by the law. And Jiang Yazhu and her friend are also watching all this from a distance and Jiang Yazhu says how could this bastard be so stupid as to agree to this kind of contract. And Jiang Yazhu's friend says why do I think that Gai Xiaoping did it on purpose. And hearing this, Jiang Yazhu gets surprised and her friend says maybe the guy is an exposure maniac and would love to have the opportunity to run around naked. Hearing this, Jiang Yazhu says you don't talk nonsense. Xiaoping is not that kind of person. But Jiang Yazhu's friend tells Jiang Yazhu why are you so excited? If I didn't know, I would have thought you were his girlfriend. Hearing this, Jiang Yazhu starts blushing. And she says nonsense, who's the girlfriend of that idiot Xiaoping? After this the school is over. And all the students start gathering at one place and all the students start talking among themselves. Surprisingly, someone dared to accept Xiong Baishan's duel, there is going to be a good show. Xiaoping, that boy has still not come. Could it be that he was scared? Maybe he has already run away. After listening to all these students Xiong Badian says the person who dared to challenge me, Xiong Badian, hasn't been born yet. But then suddenly someone comes there. And all the students start looking back at him. And Xiaoping has arrived at that place, and Xiaoping says afraid? That word is not in my vocabulary. And now Xiaoping and Xiong Batian are standing face to face, and Xiong Batian says I thought you would run away when the situation got tough. I didn't expect that you actually had the courage to come over. Just based on this, I will go easy on you later. I will only break five of your ribs. But Xia Ping says there is no need. Just come at me with all you've got. If you hold back, you probably won't be able to withstand even one move from me. Hearing this, Xiong Badian gets angry, arrogant. You are just a mere martial artist at the third level of Heaven Realm, a small and insignificant ant. How dare you speak such big words? I will make you beg for mercy soon. And Xiong Baishan's friends are cheering up Xiong Badian. Yes, Brother Xiong will definitely teach him a lesson soon. I believe that Brother Xiong can handle him. Xiong Badian says to the teacher referee teacher, Can the duel begin now? So the teacher says sure, but remember not to use lethal force. Otherwise, I will immediately intervene to stop you. Hearing this Xiong Badian says please rest assured, teacher, I will definitely take good care of him. And the teacher signals and the duel begins. Xiong Badian generates force in his legs and moves to attack first. He uses his attack intermediate level martial art thundering bare fist. Xia moves over to Ping. And all the students are shocked to see this and say it's so powerful. No wonder he's called the overlord Xiong. Even with the cultivation of the fifth level of the heaven realm he can unleash the aura that is equivalent to the sixth level of the heaven realm. He not only has the strength of a bear, but also the speed of lightning. Xiong Batian is using his full strength right from the beginning. That guy will probably be punched to death. But Xia Ping says it's too slow, and thinks as expected, he is really a stupid bear. Not only is he slow, but he also has weaknesses all over his body. It seems that the system has given me the vision of a master. Now Xia Ping is also ready to attack Invisible Tiger Fist Unleash the Wujur. And when students see this technique, they get very shocked, and say how is it possible? Can someone at the third level of the Heaven Realm really have this kind of aura? And teachers are also confused seeing this technique, this kind of fist technique. Could it be that he has already mastered the five forms of fist to a level of perfection? Xiong Badian is also very surprised how he could have this kind of aura. Isn't he only at the third level of Heaven Realm? I can transform into a bear but I can only take its form and not its spirit essence. However, he can possess both form and spirit as a fierce beast? Isn't it just a show of empty strength? Now the five of both collide with each other but Xia Ping's five is more powerful it's impossible. I can't lose to you when it comes to strength. 
Xiaoping uses Black Tiger's stealing heart to land a punch that makes Xiong Batian fall a long way and Xiong Baishan's condition worsens but Xiong Batian gets very angry. How is it possible for you to beat me, Xiong Batian? Then Xia pings a white crane spreading its wings. Using it, Xiong Batian gets a kick that hurts Xiong Batian very much. I was actually defeated by a useless person like you. How is that? Possible. Hearing this Xia Ping says you're calling me a waste? Who's under who now? Remember, if you don't have the ability, you should be more low-key, got it? But still Xiong Badian doesn't give up and tries to stand on his feet. It's impossible that I lost to someone like you. I don't accept it. Let's keep fighting. Xia Ping says okay, then I'll just stand here and let you attack me. Now Xiong Batian is very angry he increases his power and Xiong Baishan's friends are motivating Xiong Batian brother Xiong is domineering. Brother Xiong will definitely not lose. Xiong Batian angrily moves to attack Xia Ping but just as Xia Ping is about to be five-handed, Xiong Batian stops and falls to the ground. And Xia Ping says you are not only injured, your energy is also depleted. This is already your limit. I've already seen through you. And everyone is shocked to see Xiong Badian lying on the ground Xiong Batan has been knocked down? It's impossible. Totally unbelievable. Did a martial artist at the third level of Heaven Realm really defeat Xiong? I declare that in this duel Xiaoping is. The winner. Everyone is shocked if I hadn't witnessed it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. What a formidable opponent he must be to be able to defeat Xiong Batian. Now teacher says to Xia Ping you actually managed to master the five shapes fist to the point of perfection. It's only natural for you to be able to defeat Xiong Batian, and it's really impressive ve. And your cultivation should have already reached the fourth level in Heaven Realm, right? When did the school produce such a character like you? And says Xia Ping. Just got lucky because my opponent underestimated me. But the teacher says luck to Xia Ping? On the path of martial arts, there is no such thing as luck. This teacher is looking forward to your future development. Keep working hard. Xia Ping listens to the teacher's words and says yes. But all the students are very confused did you hear the teacher? Xia Ping is already at the fourth level of Heaven Realm and has even cultivated the five elements fist to a state of perfection. Maybe this kid has been pretending to be a pig to eat a tiger. How did Xia Ping suddenly become so powerful? And Jiang Yazhu is also shocked Xia Ping won? How did he become so powerful? And Jiang Yazhu's friend says what could have caused it to happen? And now Xia Ping tells his classmate this duel. I won. According to our previous agreement, you two should go streaking now. But his classmates say Xia Ping, we are all classmates. It was just a joke we made before. Can we cancel the contract? Yeah, yeah. Please don't hold it against us and let us off the hook. Xia Ping being serious says do I look like I'm joking? If I had lost the match just now, would you have let me go? And Xia Ping sees their contract. If you refuse to fulfill the contract, then I will consider it a breach of contract on your part. At that time, your federal credit will immediately be greatly reduced, and it will be difficult for you to be admitted to top universities. And now both of them are getting very angry and Xia Ping's other classmate says Xia Ping, you are being too much. We are all classmates, let's be lenient with each other. Why do you have to be so forceful? And now all of Xia Ping's classmates force Xia Ping to say that's right. That's right. It's just a small matter. Let them go. Exactly, it's just a joke. Why take it so seriously? Don't be so petty. Be more magnanimous. That's right. One should be broad-minded as a person. Moreover, we are all classmates. There's really no need for this. But Xia Ping smiles and replies, Do you want to stand up for them? 
Then come up to the flying dragon platform and fight me, if you win, I'll listen to you. Do you dare to come? If you don't, then stop talking nonsense. And now Xiaoping challenges everyone, do you want to? Then how about you? A group of cowardly turtles. And now Xiaoping gets a lot of hatred points for a bunch of people with no skills pretending to be a saint. Don't get so worked up when you speak, or you might spit out your dentures. Don't you have anyone who can fight? It's so boring are you two waiting for the new year? Hurry up, take off your clothes and run. I'm going to apply for electronic monitoring on you. And as for you useless bunch, if you have any sense of loyalty, then you are welcome to join them in running naked. And now everyone is so mad at Xiaoping you bastard. Even the campus bully Xiong Batian is a hundred times better than you. This damn Xiaoping is too arrogant, you will definitely pay for this in the future. But it doesn't matter to Xiaoping. I actually gained so much hatred from this. This result is really good. I should do this kind of thing more often in the future. Now Xiaoping comes to his home and asks his mother. Mom, just what did you cook today, why is it so fragrant? So Xiaoping's mother says son, this is the fire bear monster meat I just bought, eat up. The system tells Xiaoping the fire bear a powerful monster that is very difficult to catch. Its meat contains a lot of vital energy and is extremely valuable. If eaten, it can improve the physique and strengthen of the true qi inside the body, making it equal to a great elixir potion. Xiaoping gets happy hearing this have we struck the lottery? Why did you buy this? Xiaoping's father says just because we haven't struck the lottery doesn't mean that we can't buy it, after all, I am a city administrator under the federal government. We can afford to be extravagant once in a while. So Xiaoping says aren't you just a city manager? Hearing this, Xiaoping's father says speaking of that, your school should have started asking you to fill out the application forms, right? What plans do you have for the future? Xiaoping tells I plan to enter the very best, Yenhuang University. Xiaoping's parents are shocked to hear this and Xiaoping's father says what's so good about going to university, the school fees are so expensive, and you'll mix with bad university students, and once you come out to work you I'll only earn three or four thousand federation dollars. You might as well become a city manager like your father. Xiaoping's mother also says son. Your cultivation is unremarkable, and you can't consume high-level potions like those children from rich families. Xiaoping says mother, father, I still wish to enter university. I don't wish to have any regrets in this life. And thinks as of today, I have the system's help, so this gap isn't one I cannot cross. Now Xiaoping starts going I'm done eating, I'll go practice now. Her mother says Chuan Lu, we should support our child's dreams. I'll work overtime. Hearing this, Xiaoping's father says he's too young. And it's not like you don't know about our son's grades. Entering Yenhuang University? He must be dreaming. Xiaoping practicing in his room is amazing, as expected of a top-level technique. With just a few breaths, I've refined the energy in the fire bear monster's meat and strengthened the true qi in my body. It's a pity there's too little of this fire bear monster's meat, if there were a little more, I'd be able to break through to the fifth level of heaven realm. It looks like money is still needed, if not there'll be no way to buy potions and monster meat, and it'll also be impossible to improve my martial arts cultivation quickly. How do I earn money quickly? I'm not powerful enough to hunt monsters. And normal part-time jobs won't let me earn enough money to buy potions. HM. The top novelists earn 1 billion federation dollars a year. In my previous life, I've seen countless popular novels, writing a novel should be a good decision. What should I write about? In a world where martial arts are ubiquitous, fantasy and wuxia novels certainly won't do. I don't understand urban and historical fiction at all. Thrillers aren't bad, but they might not become massively popular in this world. That's it, 
there's a kind of novel that'll become massively popular regardless of the world's history and level of technology, as long as it includes a man. That is erotic novels. After this a man is working in an office at night who is very tense and he says boring. Why do I, the editor-in-chief, have to look at such boring trash every day? From the moment the number one seller put down his pen, has there been no one who can write a functionalist novel that can make a person's blood heat up? This the last draft submitted today, when I'm done reading it I'll go and sleep. It's a new person, is he called Black-Hearted Wolf? After searching for some time this man finds something which makes him very happy this. A masterpiece. This is definitely a masterpiece. It's such a good novel, I must sign on this writer immediately. Several days later. Xia Ping is sitting in his classroom thinking my novel's already reached number one on the recommended list and has been browsed by 30 million people. I wonder what the comments are like. A good book, this is the best novel I've read this year. The writer must be an old man, if not, I'll live stream myself eating shit. In writing this kind of story, the writer's harming other people and himself. It's like I've drunk some ancient elixir, I can't stop. Ever since I've read this novel, the family's perfect tonics are all gone. My nutrition has been affected, and I've gained two panda eyes. My mother was so angry she almost chased me out of the house. The writer is a monster. A human couldn't possibly write something like this. This novel successfully cured my infertility. I congratulate the author. Such breadth of skill, the author must have read countless books and must be a werewolf. All of you are praising him, but I want to scold him. I want this shameless author to return my pure heart. I can never return to the way I was, how evil. Dear author, please keep updating, don't stop. Xia Ping is very happy after reading all the comments it's been seen by so many people, the fees should be very high. I'll ask the editor if he can advance me some of the fees. And then Jiang Yazhu comes to Xia Ping and says it's been seen by so many people. The fees should be very high. I'll ask the editor if he can advance me some of the fees. Xia Ping asked for a school-wide martial arts competition. So Jiang Yazhu tells indeed, this is a once-a-year event, and basically all the top students in the school will take part. Not only can you win great rewards, more importantly, if you can be one of the top ten, you'll be allowed to represent the school and take part in Tianshui City's fighting competition for high school students. The participants who do well have a very big chance of entering Yen, Huang University. Each of the third-year classes has ten slots. Originally, Yang Wei and Gao Wan took up two of the slots, but since they were disciplined for streaking, there are now empty spaces. Do you want to take part? Xia Ping thinks entering Yenhuang University. This opportunity isn't easy to come by. Xia Ping tells Jiang Yazhu sure, I'll take part. Hearing this, Jiang Yazhu becomes happy and says okay, then I'll help you sign up. There's also some things to take note of. Xia Ping tells nothing much, I'm just writing a novel. And Jiang Yazhu looks at Xia Ping and thinks ever since he was young, this fellow would fall asleep after just three minutes of reading. How could he possibly write a novel? You wrote this? Writer Blackhearted Wolf. What's this about? But when Jiang Yazhu comes to know that this is an erotic novel, she starts feeling shy and says Xia Ping. You bastard, you could write a novel as shameless as this? And Xia Ping calmly replies looks like you still don't understand. People say art imitates life, exceeds life. And now Jiang Yazhu starts imaging about Xia Ping wait a moment, imitates life? Could Xia Ping secretly be a playboy? He's written his own experiences into a novel? And now Jiang Yazhu starts to leave there I didn't think you'd be this kind of person, how could you do something as irresponsible as that? I was wrong about you. And all the students hear all these things what? Responsible? I've heard for a long time that Xia Ping and Jiang Yazhu are neighbors and have known each other since childhood. 
developing feelings for each other after spending a lot of time together. And then, on a dark and windy night, when their parents were not at home, they created a raging fire. I've heard Xia Ping has ten plus women outside of school, and seven or eight of them are pregnant. Jiang Yazhu's just one of them. Impossible, Xia Ping such a wimp, how could he get the school's flower? Shameless this isn't a human, he's a monster. Jiang Yazhu really doesn't know how to choose people, even being with me would be better than being with him. Xia Ping doesn't care what all the students say, he thinks a bunch of pitiable worms, the more you despise, spread rumors about, and slander me, the more powerful I become. Beginning of this part, now Xia Ping is standing on the roof of the school, and says, the school's martial arts competition is starting in a few days. With just my power as a martial artist at the fourth level of Heaven Realm, I don't think I'll be able to get into the top ten. They might just be people at the sixth or seventh level of Heaven Realm selected by the school, but if I don't raise my cultivation level I simply won't be able to square off with them. Potion of Gold Potion of Gold, a type of life potion made by refining the hearts of ten monsters and precious spiritual medicines, it can quickly increase one's cultivation. This is the thing most suitable for me. One potion of gold needs 50,000 federation dollars. This is daylight robbery. Even adding my father's and mother's salaries together, we'd need to neither eat nor drink for seven years to save up enough money. Where am I supposed to go to get 50,000 federation dollars? That's right, I previously asked the editor about an advance on the Manhua script fees, and he hasn't gotten back to me. Then only then Xia Ping gets a message, money has been transferred to your account. Please check and accept it. And Xia Ping gets 1 million money, that's great, with 1 million federation dollars, I can go to Black Moon City and buy the potion of gold. And now Xia Ping gets a warning notification, it is written in it. Your level is low so you can't buy potions. And after knowing this, Xia Ping decides that he will go to Black Moon City, and we are told about Black Moon City. Black Moon City is the most famous Yakuza city in the Yangzhou district. There, good and evil like mix, and wine and gambling dens are plentiful. Countless shades of black and white exist here. Betrayal, fighting, smuggling. And blood-soaked deaths are a common sight here. There are many benefits to this place, prohibited items, weapons, and monster meat. Spiritual medicine. Martial arts techniques as long as you have money. You'll be able to attain whatever your heart desires. This is heaven and hell it is the gathering place of wealth, and even more so the playground of crime. Now Xia Ping thinks, to be able to quickly increase my cultivation before the martial arts competition, I'll need to pay it a visit, even if it's dangerous. Now Xia Ping is getting tons of hatred points because everyone is so mad at Xia Ping, I didn't think everyone would be this gossipy. Within the span of one day, gossip about me and Jiang Yazhu is everywhere in the school. And I don't know how much hatred I've gained either. The system says to Xia Ping, congratulations to the host. As of now, you have gained 736 hatred values in total. Hearing the system, Xia Ping thinks, this much? I insulted so many people and even ended up on the Flying Dragon platform, and only gained two or three hundred hatred value. And all that happened after that was the spreading of some gossip. Has my association with the school beauty really ignited the hatred of so many? I'm not that bad looking, after all. When Xia Ping is leaving, someone comes in front of him. And everyone is surprised to see him. Its name is Zhou Tian from Class 1. He's a prodigy at the sixth level of Heaven Realm, and his family is especially rich. Xia Ping asks, What do you want with me? So Zhou Tian says, Stop acting dumb, it's obviously something to do with Jiang Yazhu. I'm here to warn you to stop getting tangled up with her. I've looked into your background, your father's a city manager, and your mother runs a stall. You and Jiang Yazhu weren't born into the same world. She is a true daughter of heaven and is destined to shine among the clouds in Yanhuang University. 
your background is trash, and your studies are average. How could someone like you bring Jiang Yezhu happiness in the future? A person must have a certain amount of self-awareness, do you understand? After listening to Zhou Tian, Xia Ping answers him, Jiang Yezhu's and I's relationship is none of your business. Zhou Tian, others may compliment you and seek to please you. That's their choice to make. In my eyes, you're even more insignificant than a fart. Zhou Tian's classmates get very angry after listening to Xia Ping. And threatens to beat him. And Zhou Tian gets very angry. But he told Xia Ping, I've heard that you'll be participating in the school's martial arts competition as well. You'd better pray you don't end up facing off against me, or I'll make you understand the vast difference between a genius and an ordinary person. I am someone you'll never be able to measure up to. Do you understand? And Xia Ping says, just you wait and see. After some time. Evening, Tianshui City Train Station. At this place Xia Ping has come in disguise, and thinks, for a child's toy I bought for twenty federation dollars, this face-changing toy isn't bad at all. It'd be best to disguise myself if I'm going to a dangerous place like Black Moon City, where good and evil mix. Zhou Tian doesn't take me seriously at all, just because of his own cultivation and family background. I'll remember this. When I get back from Black Moon City, it'll be his turn to taste defeat. I must buy a potion of gold. And now Xia Ping has reached Black Moon City. There are a lot of people in this place. And people are fighting in this place, and Xia Ping thinks, it's better to get places like this over and done with as quickly as possible. The map shows that Black Bear Company shouldn't be far from the train station. That's a shell company specializing in illicit smuggling. The company has countless minions under its thumb, so I'll have to be at 120% when going to a place like that to buy potions. This is the place the map showed, how did this happen? Is the Black Bear Company really here? Did I go to the wrong place? I get it. So this is the Black Bear Company's back door. And then suddenly someone attacks Xia Ping from behind. Xia Ping feels for her. And thinks, bastard, who's so inconsiderate as to throw things down from high places. And attacks him with his fist, so that the man goes away and falls. Now the man's mouth bleeds but he is fine, and Xia Ping thinks, you fell from such a high place and got punched by me, and you still haven't died? This person must be a master. Strange man says, I didn't think that the Black Bear Company would hide traps at their back door. They really do think of everything. But did they really think that they'd be able to kill me by sending you, someone from just the fourth level of Heaven Realm? They must be dreaming. Insignificant ant, if you stand in my way, you must die and moves forward to attack. Xia Ping thinks, the power of this punch, it's so many times stronger than Xiong Baitan's. Where did this madman come from? And Xia Ping also attacks him. Force is generated at that place by the attack of both. And Xia Ping comes back, and thinks, this person's pretty powerful. And the strange man says, how is this possible? My heart-destroying fist hasn't been practiced to the point of perfection, but it shouldn't be something that someone only at the fourth level of Heaven Realm should be able to block. Xia Ping sees something, and thinks, this is? Looking at him, he seems to be suffering from an almost fatal injury. If he weren't injured, I fear he could kill me easily. Strange man does. You're so young and yet you can already do this. How impressive. You could say you're a genius, but what you should never, not in a million years, do, is become the lapdog of the Black Bear Company. Xia Ping gets scared after seeing the people and things, damn it, it's the light-piercing gun. My fastest technique is the snake fist, but is it faster than the light-piercing gun? Now the strange man points a gun at Xia Ping, which goes straight towards Xia Ping and Xia Ping attacks that bullet with the pure sun will not be extinguished, so that the bullet goes straight towards the strange man. And his gun breaks into two parts. Taking advantage of this opportunity, 
Xia Ping attacks the stressed man. And the strange man thinks, can someone at the fourth level of Heaven Realm really reach this speed? Xia Ping snake wrist the poisonous snake catches the rabbit. He attacks the man, and he gets badly hurt, and he falls on the ground. But blood is also coming out of Xia Ping's mouth, I'm still not experienced with the usage of, the pure sun will not be extinguished, it feels like my chest is burning. Although I already knew that Black Moon City is full of dangers, and death and murder are everywhere. I didn't think that as soon as I entered, I'd run into a madman. How unlucky. Wait, what's this? Xia Ping picks up that bag. But then he hears some sound. Some people are saying. Hurry and catch up to him, that fellow's definitely not dead. He dares to betray my black bear company, we must catch him and chop him into a thousand pieces. Let all betrayers know of the black bear company's methods. Xia Ping thinks, oh no, this is getting troublesome. I don't know what he's done to offend the black bear company. He sustained injuries from being chased by the company's people. Now that I've killed him, his possessions should be mine. I'd better quickly leave this lawless place. And then some people come to that place. And let's look at the front, along with them. There is also the boss of that group who says, how is this possible? With his power, even if we surrounded him and injured him badly, there's no way he would die so easily. And its name is, Zheng Cheng, head of division at Black Bear Company. Another man states, there's a bloody hole on his chest, which appears as if someone made it with their bare hands. A third person appeared in this alley and killed him. They're gone. They should have been taken by whoever killed him. After hearing this, Zheng Cheng says, damn it, to notify the company to deploy people immediately. Lock up everything within a radius of a hundred miles, and investigate all possible suspects. As soon as you find out their motives, kill them on the spot. I just want to see those items brought back. If you can't find them, you'd better come crawling back to me. And now Zheng Cheng's company people start looking for Xia Ping, we'll need to inspect them carefully, and, if they appear suspicious, kill them on the spot. Now that everyone from this division of the company has been deployed, and not even a mosquito can escape from Black Moon City, that fellow who stole from our company is as good as dead. All this Xia Ping is watching secretly, and thinking, with this kind of situation, how am I supposed to buy the potion of gold? I'll have to go somewhere else to buy it. Just what is this thing that's made the Black Bear Company so angry, and caused them to deploy so many people to hunt down and kill a thief? It can't be, this is the potion of gold. There are twelve of them? No wonder the Black Bear Company wanted to hunt down and kill that person, this is something worth ten million federation dollars. And then Xia Ping heard some voice, oh no, I was too panicked when hiding just now, and forgot to clear the footprints on the ground. And at that place people from Black Beer Companies come, the footprints end here, that person must be nearby. Search carefully, don't let our efforts go to waste. And Xia Ping is hiding behind the wall listening to the people of Black Bear Company. Looking at the situation, escaping is no longer a possibility. I can only kill. The one who acts first has an advantage. Now Xia Ping moves forward to directly attack the people of Black Bear Company. And seeing this, these people get scared. And very quickly Xia Ping attacked with a chain of ferocious tigers. Injures them. And they fall on the ground, but a man takes out a gun to shoot Xia Ping, but before he can shoot, Xia Ping quickly comes behind the man. And breaks his gun, so that he dies on the spot. And Xia Ping thinks, luckily I killed them in time. If I'd waited until they took out their guns, I'd have been dead. These potions of gold are worth millions, but even so, the people from the Black Bear Company wouldn't have acted so crazily. Although a loss of one million federation dollars is a big one. It wouldn't cause any severe damage. Could it be that they're looking for this copy of the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth, 
and at that place the system also comes and says, the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth. This martial arts method utilizes a special breathing technique to allow one to enter a state of mediation, blasting open the cave of a hundred wisdoms and gaining mental power. Once this sort of mental power is released, one can easily sense the blowing of wind and the movement of grass for miles. Xia Ping thinks, only someone with a great mental strength is qualified to cultivate this technique? I crossed over to Planter Inferno, and two souls combined together. It makes sense that my mental strength should be much more than an ordinary person's. I should be able to cultivate this secret technique. And again Xia Ping hears the voices of the people of Black Bear Company. Oh no, this is the territory of the Black Bear Company. They have eyes everywhere, Black Bear Company people, searching for Xia Ping, reach that place but Xia Ping is somehow hiding from them, I'll definitely be exposed if this continues. If I can't hide, I'll kill without mercy. And now Xia Ping attacks the people of Black Bear Company very fast. And starts fighting with them, and kills them all one by one, no, if I keep doing this, I'll definitely die to the attacks on all sides by the Black Bear Company. It's a bit risky, but the only path left is to use the potion of gold and ascend to a martial artist of fifth heavenly rank. I don't care. And the next day I thought I'd be able to get it back after finding that traitor, but I didn't expect someone would act faster. The company used an immense amount of personnel and resources to get that copy of the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth. I didn't expect that it would have been stolen by that traitor. Reporting to Director Zheng, as of now we have not found our target. We also sustained losses of five or six personnel, and they were all killed in one blow by someone. But according to an analysis of the location, the opponent should have succeeded via the use of a sneak attack. So I estimate that that individual's power shouldn't be higher than a martial artist of fifth heavenly rank. But Cheng says, we can't underestimate this fellow, has gotten rid of so many of our people. It'd be safer to send some people with a higher cultivation level. Let Cheng Hua bring some people. When they find him, kill him on the spot. Hearing Zheng's words, the man says, young master Zheng is indeed strong. But his opponent will be a desperate man. I fear that the pursuit may be dangerous. But Zheng says, don't worry, my son is a martial artist of sixth heavenly rank after all, even if he can't win the fight, he'll be able to escape. The way to listen to and watch heaven and earth is too precious, it's hard to ensure that a second per son won't turn traitor. I can only trust my own people. Inside an abandoned building. Xia Ping thinks, the two sources of power from the potion of gold that has been digested by the pure sun will not be extinguished. And the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth respectively are constantly tugging and swelling inside my body, I will be able to tame these powers. Nothing can stop me from getting stronger. My one punch has the force of at least 3,000 kilograms, much more than Xiong Baishan's. Even if I were to face off against Zhou Tian, a martial artist of sixth heavenly rank, I'd have the ability to win, and the system says, congratulations to the host, you have successfully become a martial artist of fifth heavenly rank. Xia Ping thinks, no wonder it's called the pure sun will not be extinguished, it was able to tame even such explosive energy. The system says again, congratulations to the host. You have completed the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth, and have obtained mental strength. Xia Ping does, if it weren't for the fact that I'd fused the souls of two people and had a spiritual strength far surpassing that of ordinary people, learning this book of magical techniques would have been even harder than ascending to heaven. And then Xia Ping feels something, someone's coming. With the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth, within a radius of several dozen meters, not even the blowing of the wind or moving of the grasses can escape my senses. The me now is like those powerful individuals in legends who can dodge the light-piercing gun. No wonder the Black Bear Company wanted to get this secret technique back to the point where it seemed like it had gone mad. This is something that normal magical techniques would never be able to emulate. Some people come to that place. And a man tells Prince Zheng, 
I was observing that place for the whole of last night, and I realized that there were weird noises coming from there every so often, there's definitely a person inside. And the other man says, you know the consequences of daring to lie to me. Its name is, Zheng Hua, the son of Director Zheng of the Black Bear Company. This man tells Zheng Hua, if I've told even half a lie, the prince is free to deal with me as he wishes. So Zheng Hua says, very good, if we really do find that person, you'll have done great work and will be well rewarded. This man says thank you to Zheng Hua while smiling. But Zheng Hua takes a kick at him, and says he's taken the initiative to show himself. Xia Ping is watching all this from the top of the building, I've ascended to a martial artist of fifth heavenly rank, and have mental power, regardless of who comes. I won't be scared. But only then, these people feel the arrival of a powerful enemy. So these people start running away out of fear. But Zheng Hua is standing there, Zheng Hua, tells people to move away, he thinks this attack can't do anything to me. Cuts the stones thrown at him with a sword and says. It's unlucky for you that you've run into me. Drag him out. He must be cut into a thousand pieces. And everyone moves ahead to find Xia Ping. But then, there is an attack on them again, in which many people get hurt. But Zheng Hua survived those attacks. And Zheng Hua tells Xia Ping to come out. But due to repeated attacks of stones, many of Zheng Hua's comrades are injured. And now only Zheng Hua is left at that place. And says, bastards. All useless. Rats that can do nothing but hide. If you have the skill, come out and fight 300 rounds with me, Zheng Hua. Lurking in a warehouse, secretly thieving, what kind of good guy are you? Xia Ping is secretly listening to her saying, Idiot, this is a fight, if you don't die, then I'll live, who would fight with you 300 times? Xia Ping attacks again. But Zheng Hua stops him and Xia Ping thinks, I'm not very good at throwing concealed weapons, and I haven't practiced before. But after having cultivated the way to listen to and watch heaven and earth, and trained my mental strength, I can control everything within 20 meters. Now Xia Ping throws many stones at Zheng Hua. But Zheng Hua escapes from everyone, and says, Damn it, just where are you? Cowardly rat, when I catch you I'll cut you into a thousand pieces. Xia Ping thinks, almost. I'll finish you off. But now Zheng Hua gets very angry and he uses three talented blades of heaven and earth. And breaks the thrown stone, and gets a little tired, and his sword breaks. And only then Xia Ping grabs her neck from behind. And says I know you love to show off, and wouldn't hide regardless of how good your sword is. It wouldn't be able to withstand the impact of nine chunks of rock, so it's inevitable that it would break. You don't have a weapon, and at such short a distance, taking your life would be like taking candy from a baby. Zheng Hua threatens Xia Ping and says, you dare to kill me? My father is Zheng Cheng the director of the Black Bear Company. If you kill me, you'll also die in Black Moon City. But Xia Ping does not listen to her. And attacks him and Zheng Hua dies on the spot. In a battle of life and death, I don't have the time to care about who your father is. If you dare to try and murder me, you must die. This fellow is the leader of those helpers, let's see what he has on him. And Xia Ping searches for him, isn't this a recovery potion? It can let those powerful martial artists at the sixth level of heavenly realm to supplement their strength and recover the true qi they've lost. A bottle of recovery potion like this is worth a hundred thousand, and only the rich would be able to use it. Looks like he really is someone of importance. The three talented blades of heaven and earth technique? It could be the sword technique he's studying it's certainly not weak. This book of secret techniques should be worth a lot. And then Xia Ping hears some sound. Some people are searching for Zheng Hua. He has come to the place. He is looking for Zheng Hua everywhere. Those people do not understand who killed their companion. And when those people see Zheng Hua. So he's dead. So those people get very scared. 
and call Director Zheng. Now Zheng Cheng has come to know that someone has killed his son. He gets very angry, I don't care who you are, I don't care about where you come from, Zheng Cheng will kill you and cut you into ten thousand pieces. And Zheng Cheng's partner comes over there, then Zheng Cheng says. Disseminate my command and mobilize everyone in the Black Bear Company. Search everywhere within a hundred miles, and secure the stations. I'm not going to give that fellow any way to escape. And now Xia Ping is searching for a nearby train station, then the system appears in front of him and says, Host, there is a person who has gained a hatred for you so deep that he will be satisfied only by your death. You have been awarded 1,000 hatred points. Hearing this, Xia Ping thinks, a hatred for me so deep that he will be satisfied only by my death. It must be because of that Prince Zheng. Something's indeed not right about this situation. It's not just the train station, even the Yakuza members who are patrolling the area have increased to five or six times their original numbers. Xia Ping hides his face and starts running away from the place. But many people say that Zheng Cheng's son is dead. And he is very angry. Whoever killed his son is not going to leave him alive. And Xia Ping thinks, it looks like I've really gotten myself into trouble. It's lucky that I made preparations and changed my features. If my true identity were found out, it would cause massive inconvenience for my family members. But it's basically impossible to get onto the train peacefully. As soon as I get close to it, the potion of gold and secret techniques I'm carrying will be found immediately. I have to think of a plan. Let's see what the system shop has that can help me get out of this sticky situation. Xia Ping checks in the system shop. And the system tells the pill of stealth. Once used, you can immediately conceal your aura and become invisible. Surrounding lifeforms will be unable to detect the presence of this person. Effects last for one hour. Price, 1200 hatred points, Xia Ping gets overjoyed after knowing that, that one. With this, I can easily leave this place. 1200 hatred points are basically all the hatred points I've collected. I'm a bit unwilling to spend them all in one go. The Black Bear Company sent so many people to hunt me down and kill me. Forcing me into this sorry situation. I can escape this time, but I might run into similar things in the future. But wouldn't directly running away be wasting this pill? I must think of a way to take the initiative.